Well, oh, g'day guys, it's Jono from Out and About with Jono and Giz. Um, we've come back today to the Five Barrel Brewing Company to um, try a couple more of their beers. When we were here last time, we only had um, a beer each and they looked like they had a pretty good range of beers. So, um, yeah, Jez and I are gonna share a paddle on this lovely Monday afternoon and um, see what we think of some more of their beers. So we'll um, go inside and see what they've got and let you know what we're going to have. Just um, show you some of the stuff they've got coming out, guys. So they do all sorts of things. They have food trucks and burgers and all that sort of stuff. And this is a um, really nice setup, guys. We have been here before. We really like it. It's very good. Uh, there's the fridge with um, all your tank cans if you want to take home a six pack of beers. Uh, oh, obviously going to have to try that beer, John, I think. Nice. So, dear John, and. I got a dear John. I want a dear John. Yeah, and a flip side. Flip and a flip side, thanks. Yeah, uh, cheers. Okay guys, so there's a list of the beers at the top there, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see what we've had here. It's quite a good setup. It's amazing isn't it, viewers, just how much the craft brewery industry has taken off um, in Australia and I think across the world really, it's a very big thing. Nice seating area, as I said they have a great food truck, they do nice burgers and stuff like that. They sell a range of their merchandise and lots of bits and pieces, didn't know they sold um, jams and spices and, and relishes and stuff like that, that's another good thing guys. Uh, and candles, a lager scented candle there, uh, that's all good, beautiful. Yeah, that's where they, where they line up with this guy here. Yep. No worries. Nice. Here we go, guys. A couple of beers. I'll let you know how they go. They look delicious. Okay, guys, I've got the paddle there. A little bit shaky because I'm not usually right handed. Yep, that's cool. Right, eh? What are you going to try first there, Jess? So, which side's mine, which side's yours? Okay, so... Because I went the cloudy... Oh, that's mine there, the cloudy IPA. It's this way. These are mine, those are yours. <clears throat> By the way, guys, if you like the shirts that... Um, Jez and I are wearing... Um, so the hat that I'm wearing, which you can't really see, because I've got my sunglasses on. They're going to be available too on our merchandise as part of the channel with our merchandise. Um, the shirts will be selling for 30 bucks each and the hats will be selling for 20. So we'll get those up shortly, guys, and um, they're gonna be available in all sizes. We'll ship anywhere in the world. Um, but anyway, let's give these beers a try. We'll let you know how they go. This is the red. This is the red, guys. Hang on, just a second. Sorry about that. Filming myself. All right, cheers, cheers. Jess. So this is the Dear John. Rice. And it's red what too? Rice. Red rice beer. Yes. Right eh guys? Rice. Cheers. Oh, Say that shit. three times. Cheers. <laughs> Spilt my beer. Sorry for the language. Oh I like that. Oh that's nice. Well that's a nice beer guys. It's the dear John made with red rice. Um something new that they're trying. Pretty happy with it. It was a bit earthy, but I don't it's not earthy so at all. It's an easy drinking beer. On a hot day, mm. perfect. I'm gonna mix mine. I'm gonna try my blueberry smoothie. A blueberry smoothie Good beer. In a smooth. Doesn't sound like a beer, does it, guys? No, it doesn't. Sounds like a cocktail. It sounds interesting. See what she thinks, guys. Tastes like fruit juice. Tastes like fruit juice. <laughs> and beer mixed together. You mind if I have a sip, Jess? Oh, how about it? It is yum. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to have a little sip of Jess's. It tastes like fruit juice mixed with beer. 
Ew. You should have seen your face. I am not, I'm not a fan, guys. But it was gold. You can see my face in that one. It's just, yeah, that was nah. Gold. Nah. Not for me, guys. Anyway, keep, keep it going at the beers. That is nice, but that is lovely. Real fan of that red rice. Definitely like that one. So this is a little something that Jess and I have been getting into, that guys just to um, just to get out and about and give you some different content. And it's just going around the breweries and um, supporting our local industries is, is really important. You know, everybody's struggled since COVID. Um, I was reading the other day that a lot of breweries have actually closed down because a number of reasons, the cost of freight, um, but mainly not being able to get enough staff. And I come from a recruitment and labour hire background and I know just how much they're suffering because in that industry it's, it's hard to get good people. But it's, it's nice to see the ones that have managed to pull through. Um, by doing different things like getting the food trucks involved and music and, and stuff like that and it's really good um, and being in the middle of town I think these guys are in a really good area because everybody sort of walks past town down to where they park their cars and it's you know hot day cool in have a quick beer I think it's a it's delightful so I mean that's pretty much what we are doing today Jez has um, finished work for the day um, and yeah we just thought let's have a beer so I'm going to um, Finish this rice one here, guys, and um, then I'll do a tasting on my second one. Cheers. See you shortly. So Jess is really a fan of the um, the cordial beer. Uh, you saw my face when I tried it, but um, one of the things that I'm, I, I struggle with, guys, is um, you know when growing up. Uh, and I'm not a big beer drinker, to be honest with you. Growing up, it was, you know, just your, your standard beers that you could get. And there was none of this craft beer for a while. And um, now they're everywhere. And, you know, I, I like trying them. I like supporting the local industries. Not everything is going to be to my taste. Not everything is going to be to everybody's taste. I think you find the one that you like and, you know, you, you, you try a couple more. Um, but, yeah, no. All good, guys. Uh, all right. Well, here goes nothing. So this one is the hazy, the, hazy, the koala, isn't it? It's koala something. Mm. The hazy koala. Can I have a look at the, the thing? Tell them yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's called the hazy koala. It's, it's a, it's an, it's an. It's an that's an IPA. So, again, um, Indian Pale Ale. I've never had one before. Never had one. Little lazy. No, it's not. It's a. It's a um, that's only um, hazy IPA. Okay, well, it's a little nipper hazy IPA, guys. Um, I thought it was called something to do with koala, but obviously, you know, that, <laughs> won't, that, yeah, that little drink's gone to my head already. But anyway, <laughs> we'll give it a try, see what we think. So, here goes nothing. Cheers, viewers. Oh, wow, that, um, whew, that is something else. I could smell it before I drank it. Um, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, it's just, yeah, it's, I'm trying to think. It's almost like treacle, treacly sort of a, yeah, it's like a treacly sort of a, a, a taste. On, on the smell. back of your palate. So, when you smelt it, what was it like? A pasty or a um, popsy or a fruity? I don't really know. Well, I can I, no, I, I'm not sure what I smell there. I'm going to hand it over to Jez now so she can have a bit of a smell, guys, and a bit of tell me what she thinks. Is it nice? It's okay. I wouldn't buy a six pack and take it home. What are you getting? Fruit, yeah, maybe, maybe fruit. Oh, I suppose you yeah, had like um, prunes and stuff like that. Dried sticky fruit. Do you know what it smells like? <clears throat> what are you doing? Swapping, you don't like it, I do. Oh, okay, well, just like that bit. There you go, guys. Jez has pinched my beard. Well, you can it back, but you no, no, no. Do, do you know what it smells like? Mule, mule axe that we used to give to one of our kids to 
sort of help them go to the toilet, which is not a bad, not a nice thing to say, but you know, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's very sort of fermented fruit. Fermented fruit. That's that's pretty much it. So anyway, does it just slam back that cordial? And um, did you want it back? That's nice. No, I like this. no, I'll let you have that one. Yeah, it is. I did like it. No, that's a bit of an aftertaste in my mouth, but you know, guys, I'm probably a bit of a sook here. So anyway, um, I'm gonna knock off this beer here, and then we're gonna head home and. Yeah, nice. Get some dinner and maybe have a glass of wine outside and, and enjoy the weather before the rain comes in for the weekend. Um, but thanks for coming along on this journey, guys. And um, just remember, um, if you like this video, please subscribe. It really does help us out. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. Um, and to our current subscribers, thanks for being with us on the journey, guys. You really have made it worthwhile. We really appreciate every one of you along the way. So. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers. John Owen, Jez out.